How to calculate the empirical formula using masses and relative atomic mass by kscience.com. Molecular formula is when atomic symbols are used to show the number and type of atoms in a compound. For example, hexene has the molecular formula C6H12. And when we use a ball and stick model, we can see there are six carbon atoms and 12 hydrogen atoms in this molecule. Empirical formula is the simplest ratio of atoms of each element in a substance and it must be a whole number ratio. Decimal places are not allowed. So what is the empirical formula of hexene? Well hexene has six carbon atoms and 12 hydrogen atoms. To find the simplest ratio we use the biggest number which can be divided into 6 and 12. This number is 6, so we divide 6 and 12 by 6. This gives a ratio of 1 carbon atom to 2 hydrogen atoms. So the empirical formula of hexene is CH2. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. What is the empirical formula of these substances? The answers will follow. Pause the video now and make any corrections to your mistakes. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. In this typical exam star question, you are being asked to calculate the empirical formula of sodium oxide when there is 9.2 grams of sodium and 3.2 grams of oxygen, and you're always given the relative atomic masses of the elements being asked about. To successfully complete this question in the exam, I advise you to draw this table in the space provided where there are three columns. We're going to go through how to set up this table. The question is asking us about sodium and oxygen, two different elements. So we have two different columns. In this column, we write sodium or Na. And in this column, we write oxygen or O. And in this column on the far left, we always have the same rows, starting with mass, then AR, which is relative atomic mass, in the third row, we have mass divided by AR, which is a calculation we always have to do. And in the fourth row, I will tell you this once we've completed the first three rows. The question tells us there is 9.2 grams of sodium. So in our table, we write 9.2 grams in the row where mass and sodium is. The question tells us there is 3.2 grams of oxygen. So in our table, we also write 3.2 grams. We can see the question gives us the relative atomic masses of each element. So we write the AR of sodium, which is 23, and the AR of oxygen, which is 16. The next step is to use this equation, mass divided by AR, for each element. So for sodium, we do 9.2 grams divided by 23. This equals 0 0.4. For oxygen, we do 3.2 grams divided by 16. This equals 0 0.2. Normally in the exam, I would always like you to write what you should be doing in the fourth row, which is taking your answer from the above calculation and dividing it by the smallest number. So we do answer divided by the smallest answer. So we can see 0 0.4 is bigger than 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 is the smallest answer. So for sodium, the answer is 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.2 and this equals 2. For oxygen, the answer is 0 0.2 divided by the smallest number, which is 0 0.2. This equals 1. This shows the ratio of sodium atoms to oxygen in the empirical formula. 
So the empirical formula is Na2O. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video to see if you can calculate the empirical formula of lithium carbonate using this information. If you find it difficult, the table will follow. Pause the video to attempt this question and the answers will follow. Pause the video to check your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Pause the video to attempt this question and the answers will follow. Pause the video to check your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. Your answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.